Hey, I thought I'd do a quick overview for Rockman X Dive. Uh, I got to this beta somehow, even though I, I don't even have a, a good smartphone. I have like a cheap $90 phone that can like barely run Google Chrome, but they let me in anyway, and the game actually does work with emulators quite well, so I'll go over as much as I can. However, the, uh, the limitation is that I don't have much stamina right now. So, there's not that many characters in the game right now, and uh, one of my biggest concerns playing this is like, how many characters do they have to draw from? You know, like, King of Fighters is a game I've been playing recently that's very similar to this in terms of, uh, you know, having more arcade-style gameplay than most mobile games, but, you know, King of Fighters has a lot more characters to draw from. They already have, like, random characters like Paladin and Alia who were never actually combatants. They were just uh, playable skins for the other characters in uh, X8. But they all are pretty diverse, so I just unlocked Zero by beating, I guess, the first lap of the game. So each character has two moves. Uh, right now he has Ryu Engin and uh, Raku Hoha. Pretty standard moves from X4. There's a bunch of passives as well, but it seems borderline impossible to get these right now until you uh, they uh, add more content. It's also a rank up system, and you need more memories to unlock them. Right now, that's kind of hard to do. <laughs> so, it's kind of uh, it's, it's very much a struggle at the beginning. Uh, the game does expect you to grind. Uh, if you try to play it like a traditional Mega Man game, or at the very least, like a Mega Man X speedrunner, where you mostly just avoid contact, you jump over enemies, and pretty much just kill whatever is directly blocking your path, then uh, you won't get far in this game. Uh, you definitely are expected to grind. However, they do offer some pretty nice uh, mechanics to grind. So you have a bunch of weapons, uh, they are unlocked by fragments as well. If you played Honkai Impact 3rd, uh, the character and weapon fra fragments system is very similar to that. Like if you collect a certain amount of the, the pieces, then you can craft that weapon or character. So right now I'm using the Z Rapier and the Falcon Buster. And you can level them up like this, with the experience chips, and then you can get like uh, passive bonuses. Like right now, I could go for a higher crit rate, or I could go for higher attack. Let's go for crit rate. Now the translation this is not the best, uh, if you're not aware, this is actually a Taiwanese game from Capcom Taiwan. Uh, I've noticed numerous typos and just... Uh, more English all around. I'm sure that will get cleaned up later on, but it definitely does make things a little bit more confusing than intended. I'm sure if you played it in just native Taiwanese, it would probably be a, a lot easier to understand. There's also this system here, I and mean, this is pretty standard mobile game timer stuff. You have like uh, things that you can craft, and you can wait, or you can spend money to skip them. At this point, I probably could skip them but they're actually going to be wiping this closed beta test, so it's not really worth putting a lot of time into. Uh, if you're upset that you didn't get to the beta or you don't have a device that could run the game, kind of like I do, and you're also not able to run it on emulator like I am right now, you're really not missing much. You can try the game, you can kind of understand the core gameplay mechanics and check it out for like a couple hours, but past that there's really not anything to do or worth doing. Now the loot box system is actually quite nice. Uh, if you spend uh, 10 loot boxes or you purchase 10 loot boxes at once, you're always guaranteed to get a character. And right now they have uh, rates on Ultimate Armor X. So he's a 2% drop rate. They have a bunch of weapons in here as well. So after the 10th drop, I guess, I don't know if it's cumulative or if you just have to buy it in 10, but every time I bought it in 10, I have gotten a character. So compared to other games like KOF, it, it definitely feels like it would be easier to monetize. However, I'm sure uh, probably the research system and maybe upgrading your weapon is probably going to be the heavy part of uh, where your money will be spent. But I actually think that's a lesser of two evils. I mean, honestly, I don't like when full movesets are locked behind loot boxes and they make it pretty easy. To, uh, to get the characters here. You can also get a number of them for free as well. 
let's go into the game really quick. Now, I have to give a disclaimer. I'm about to complain about the controls, and uh, I should mention this game actually does have native controller support, which is uh, is rare for games like this. Uh, normally, <laughs> no matter how like advanced the gameplay gets, you know, mobile games are definitely kind of uh, improving in terms of having actual gameplay. There's very rarely actual controller support. Here, there is. Uh, if you have a Bluetooth controller, you can actually hook it up and run it just fine. However, I don't have a Bluetooth dongle for my uh, my PS4 controller. Uh, I might consider doing that when the game is in full release. I, I am liking it enough that I might consider adding it to my rotation, maybe playing it. But it would be better if they just put it on PC. Who knows if that's in the plans later on. So let's get to some gameplay here. I only have like a couple of stamina, so I can't really show that much. See, Zero's got the Falcon Buster and the Rapier. I'm glad to see Marino in this game. I think Marino got the short end of the stick because she was a command mission character, and they had very, re very little relevance in that game's the story. They didn't even appear in the ending. Anyway, pretty standard stuff here. You have your up and down, your dash, your jump. Uh, the dash jump, unfortunately, is the Mega Man X dash jump. It is not the Inti Creates Zero or ZX, ZX series dash jump, where you can double jump or air dash after. I definitely think that's something they should fix. That would make the game a lot more uh, responsive. I have had a lot of problems where like, I try to jump left or right, and sometimes the character just will jump in place. I don't know if that's on my end or not. Uh, I'll try getting a Bluetooth controller at some point and see. Uh, the biggest complaint I have with the physics and the controls in this game is it's very difficult to dash jump off something and you don't get any momentum. So the wall climbing in this feels exponentially worse than just the regular on-ground movement. Like the dash jumping and stuff actually feels pretty nice, but as soon as you have to interact with the wall at all, the game feels very clunky. So you have two weapons. You have your main weapon and your sub weapons. Right now I have the Falcon Buster. And I have the Z-Saber. Or this is the Rapier. And you have two actives as well. So here's Akuhoha and Ryuengi. So later on you can level up your, your moves as well, but I'm not able to do that because there don't seem to be many options to in the beta. They actually finished the game and it mentioned uh, trying out hard mode, but it doesn't seem like hard mode is actually implemented right now. So you can see how, like, even just without playing it, you can see how clunky it is to, uh, to actually navigate the walls in this game. Controls definitely need to be a lot more responsive, uh, even if it is a little bit on my end. It definitely doesn't feel as responsive as it should. I had the hardest time endlessly dying in this game. It definitely does feel artificially difficult, but I guess it's just that way to facilitate, you know, being a, a mobile game and having way more progression than a, a Mega Man X game normally has. You know, there's no, like, leveling up in those games. It's mostly just leveling up your own personal skill and then getting more abilities. X8 kind of did go that direction with uh, crafting upgrades and stuff. That's kind of like similarly to how it works here. There's just more mechanics to it. Next aid was mostly just uh, gathering currency. And finding some of the blueprints, if I remember correctly. So that's a basic level. Uh, you are ranked by uh, certain objectives that you have to complete, and when you get three stars, what's really cool about this game is that you can actually skip playing the level completely, and it seems like you're actually expected to do that to grind, which is kind of nice. Uh, the levels, I could see taking a long time to go through your stamina normally, so if you're gonna hurry, this is supposed to be a mobile game. There's supposed to be more, you know, weighted around uh, not having to play for a long period of time. You actually skip it and you get the full experience and the drops. So I actually burnt through a ton of my stamina earlier to try to craft some other things. So I have 12 stamina left, so I'll go ahead and I'll show a boss. Hopefully the monetization continues to stay fair and hopefully they improve the controls. It definitely does still feel like a bootleg Mega Man X game in some ways. <laughs> Mostly just the controls. Like right there, he's not 
jumping forward. It's possible that they may have like passive upgrades later on that improve the movement. I wouldn't be surprised if that was just the case too, but I do think the base controls and just the stock character should be quite a bit better. So I was actually able to get to this power level just by playing the game. I hope that they'll continue to leave it that way. At the same time, they only have like eight characters in the game right now. There's only a handful of weapons. So I'm not really sure how well they'll be able to, to monetize the game if they keep it this fair. But in terms of like being a consumer with uh, not a whole lot of disposable income, it definitely does feel like a far more friendly free-to-play game than some of this other stuff I have attempted, like uh, King of Fighters and things like that. Anyway, I'm out of stamina, so that's basically it. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot else to do on this demo, honestly. I tried to select hard mode, but it doesn't seem like it's working at the moment. So, like I said, uh, if you are not able to get to the game, I don't really think you <laughs> missed much of anything. You can easily just watch some gameplay videos and get pretty close to the full experience. Uh, if you see someone fumbling around with the controls, it's mostly just likely the fact that the game is not as responsive as it should be, especially for something like Mega Man X, which is one of the, the more responsive, you know, platformer video game franchises out there. And the Inti Creates games only made them even more responsive, so hopefully they will take more inspiration from those games' controls. I hear that, I guess, classic Mega Man characters and other characters will appear. Maybe they'll do some collaborations or something. As you know, Mega Man X in general doesn't really have that many active combatant characters, so I, I'm kind of curious how they plan to keep getting people to play the game and spend money when they don't have a large roster like, you know, Honkai Impact and KOF and... Even the Dynasty Warriors uh, Unleashed mobile game has, you know, Dynasty Warriors has like 100 characters at this point. So I'm curious to see how things will go. Uh, I'll probably play more uh, when they do the open beta test, where I assume they will add more content. I'll also put out some gameplay of the other characters as well. So right now I have both iterations of X, I have Axel, Zero, Marino, and Pallet. Uh, I'll try to get out some gameplay for those. There's only a couple more days of the beta, so... Uh, maybe for tomorrow's video, I'll just do a big video with the uh, gameplay of all of them so you can see their gameplay. And uh, that's basically it for this beta. <laughs> I kind of wasn't expecting it to go through it as fast. I was playing uh, KOF a lot this morning and thought maybe I should go on here and before I ran out of time. But I ended up playing it for an hour and I cleared all the content. <laughs> oh, there's also a uh, boss rush here. And there's like PvP. I can't imagine how awful that would be. It seems like it's more balanced than other games where there's like actual... Uh, like a stat, I guess, balancing done, but definitely doesn't seem like it's going to be too great. And you have this boss rush mode here, pretty self-explanatory. Catch you guys later, and I'll have more content in the near future. Peace.